Hi everybody, Steph here. Now I've had a few messages about people asking me um, how to change a well mainly a J bar inside uh, a pen. Now a lot of pens when you actually receive them you'll find that the J bar inside is actually sort of deteriorated. What you'll find is that um, the hook side at the bottom of the J bar tends to deteriorate, it breaks off. So what you'll find is once you dismantle a pen in mo it, well in some cases the bar, or the, the broken bar will actually just simply fall out but if for some reason the bar is still inside now the only reason you might need to replace is if it's really deteriorated or for some reason it, it, it's rot lost the pressure if you like when you actually use the lever you can see at the moment here well there's no J bar in this particular pen as I say when I actually dismantle it it just simply fell out what you need to do first of all clean out all the excess um, old sack that's inside there now I can't show you how to pull the the old one out but but generally just to give you an idea what you need is one some long tweezers now the only problem with the tweezers is the, the, sometimes you'll find it difficult to actually grip um, grip the J bar um, so what you can actually use is these forceps if you like and what you can simply do is pop that into the into the the barrel of the pen grip the J bar and basically what you need to do is as you pull just slightly twist the J bar inside now the important thing is before you do that sorry is what you need to do is make sure you keep your finger on the lever here because if you snag the lever you may actually break it off and then you've got another problem to replace the lever so place your finger make sure the lever is is flat um, go inside you, you may you may need your inspection light to look inside the barrel so you can actually see the uh, the lever uh, sorry the J bar and again as I say get the forceps place them inside grip the J bar inside the old one and as I say pull and generally ge generally just twist slightly being very careful again because the lever is is held on inside um, with a with a steel ring and what you don't want to do is snag that steel ring inside the barrel because again it'll cause you problems and you'll need to replace the hold uh, the steel ring and maybe even the lever as well so again a little bit of care is needed now once you removed the old J bar which in some circumstances actually looks like looks like this here okay um, some people call it a crook bar because obviously this little uh, if you like crook at the end and what actually happens with these is they go inside and this particular um, the, the bent section here grips the inside of the barrel okay so once you remove the old one what you need to do is measure and get an idea of the size of new J bar that you'll need and what I've done here I've got the new one which I've purchased okay I'm hoping you can see that and in effect what actually happens is when you when you um, pull the lever up inside what it does it puts pressure on top of the the J bar like so and that compresses against against this sack inside inside the barrel so as I say I've, I've actually measured this one this is a correct size these actually come in three sizes small medium and large if you buy one that's slightly too big don't worry about it you can actually just generally just snip off the the very tip and make sure it's all filed down so it's there's no sharp edges that can snag um, the sack inside inside the pen also what you need to do is make sure that it's a correct size that when you actually pop the the section back in place that the the J bar does not snag against um, the sack nipple there so what it needs to be is a few millimeters below um, the section nipple there so make sure it doesn't snag 
the nipple to the top there. If you've actually got one that's too long and it does snag, you'll need to replace it with a shorter one or just take a little bit off the bottom. But generally what you need is a small gap um, between the section nipple and um, the end of the J-bar. About, about there if you like. There's, I mean the measurements is not crucial I don't think. But uh, So here we go, this is the new, the new J-bar. Now when we install it, obviously what we've got to do is this top end here um, is the bit that goes against against the lever here. So in effect, it goes in like so. So that when we press or pull on the lever, the lever will actually push down on this particular section here. And what you need to do is make sure it's aligned nice and straight with the with the lever there so I'm going to do this over the camera so there's a little bit of guesswork so I'm just going to push that in just like so and be very careful I'm doing it just nice and slowly and you can see that I'm trying to make sure it aligns with the lever there so there's a little bit there you go I can hear a little bit of a click so that sounds like it's it's got the right the right area and at this particular point, again, what you can actually use is long nose pliers like these. What I'm actually going to do is just simply um, grip the end of the J bar like so and push it in as far as it will go. Okay, until I feel a bit of uh, resistance, and that's about it there. Um, I don't know if you can actually see that. Let's try and shine the, the light. Oh, I don't know, maybe maybe you might be able to see it. Okay, I'll just give it a little bit of a twirl and hopefully you can actually see, well I can actually see over the camera that the J-bar um, has aligned nicely against the clip there. Whether it's actually, you can actually see it on the camera or not, I'm not too sure, but hopefully you can. Okay, so what we need to do now is just simply test it. And if we pull up the lever, there you go, and you can see it snaps nicely back into place. Okay, so that's how easy it is to replace the J-bar inside. So as we said, reiterate, when you're pulling it out, pull and twist slightly, keep your finger on the lever so you don't snag the lever. When you're pulling and twist, be a bit careful because inside there's um, a steel a steel ring that holds the lever in place. Make sure you don't snag that. And as we said, pull and twist slightly. You may hear some grinding noise, but don't worry about that. That's just the, um, the bottom of the J-bar um, against the barrel. And once you've pulled it out, um, clean the barrel. Get yourself, get your, your, your wire brush that you clean your barrel with. Um, and then measure the pen as we show, said before make sure it's slightly below the sack nipple uh, on the section and then as we've just shown you there just push it the new one into place make sure it aligns with the top of the the lever and then if it's correct there we go it'll snap nicely back into place as before you could see it was loose but now it snaps very nicely as it should so we'll keep it brief so I hope you've enjoyed that I hope it helps you a little bit with your J-bar the for the person who sent me the message so that's how easy it is to replace the J-bar in a, in a pen incidentally keep watching this is a nice um, Stevens well it's what they term as a, a lever fill pen 106 what I'm going to do is put a new sack on it give it a little well it doesn't really need it to clean it's in lovely condition so what we're going to do is do a nice little um, review on this particular pen but for now I'll just simply say bye bye for now